Okay, so... Oh, Alright, everyone, start filming each other in the hallway. Yep, that's... I will. I did not. There you go. I don't know what this is because it doesn't have words. Do you want to die? We should take the ones around the back. This is so meta. Lord, 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 You even got the same brand of camera. Yep. Yeah. Except expensive and the ice and widescreen. Except mine is DV and yours is HD. I don't know, I kind of like living. Camera Wars. This is really... I don't know if this is cool or sad. No one wants this, to die. To be honest, my camera in comparison looks really bad. The end might have to see this. It's split very well. Yeah, here's the costume. Oh, of course! And then the funniest thing, yeah, here's here's the hat. The comic the M Bison head, I grant. Of that, course. that is awesome. <laughs> so that's gonna be. Where did you get that stuff anyway? Uh, maybe I, I did not make it. By uh, I wanted to meet Guy on the field of honorable combat. <laughs> I'm going to so pitch so that son of a bitch is us. <laughs> Game over. Of course. Who said this a wicker call? A wicker call? <laughs> I am no one has to go home! No one has to go home! I'm looking for a wild piss! Wild piss! Wild piss. <laughs> wild piss. <laughs> this is a wicker cup. You're a very odd group, as you've been seeing. Oh, no, 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 like, is this everyone? Yeah, no. Uh, no, we're somebody singing the Nicky. Where's Ben? The French are always late. He's with me. I said it. I said it. You're British. You understand. Oh. Yep, I absolutely He's understand. He's a yeah. Yeah. We yes. help them, and they don't help you, us. Yeah, Ben's is here. <laughs> Wait a minute, where is Ben well, Mickey? Oh, He's with Ben's eyes. He's in pal form in the pagan weird ass British bullshit that's like, what is it, like 20? 24. 24. No. Marge, to be honest, the plus side is bad movies are marginally shorter. Actually, I do shoot at 24 frames a second, but. You know, oh, wait, it's 25. It's 25. Oh, it's 25. They, they, they run faster. We shoot 29. No, you don't. You just never run My camera goes both ways. Ow! I bet you it broke does. my pinky. I, I, I love my solid state thing so much with the memory cards because before I wasted so much time pulling the footage off the tapes because yeah, yeah. you had to play it in real time and it was like you know I shoot I shoot like three hours of footage and then take three hours to pull off. Yeah. So. Sad people like me are still doing that. And and the I'm thing such is, a fan of the if, like, if the if the if the software or the computer ever crashes in the middle of it, start over. Um, I don't. Right, and the puppet! Did you get out of the puppet? Yeah, so Yeah. Alright, so we got Mars Girl. How's it going? How's it going? I'm sorry, Yeah, very. Nobody can get another puppet. Just my tiny game. I think I'm going to be as you can see, cultural differences here are Hey, hey, he didn't kiss the Bennett puppet. Oh, I don't watch your videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> are you going to tell me this one, too? It's only two for you. Hey, Phil, you're a fucking vagina. Like, we know each other. I saw that show. Well, yeah, I kissed him twice because I'm uh, in the same place in France. Yeah. And it means you're my friend because I don't... I don't just shake hands with my friends. Are we going to kiss again? We kissed yeah. last night. <laughs> <laughs> It's every day. Hey, yeah, if you're in. Hey, yeah. we're finally here, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Lindsay, of course. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spoonie Man. How you doing, man? Oh. You got an extra. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's great. It's not often that you see. We see. Yeah, I thought it was an here. inaccessible spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, man. What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> so much gambling. I love how the first thing you see getting off the plane I, I, is the slot. I've never seen it. It's so much worse than seeing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I've There's so, so many more. Yeah. It's like you get off the yeah. plane yeah. and not only have a slot machine, but there's a nice show my hand. I was just waiting to go into the bathroom. Yeah. And like, then the other one to see like a video slot. And then you're in all the same thing. And like, oh, hell, why not? I feel like, I'm talking about. I'm half expecting if you like put on some shades, you'd be like, like Roddy Piper and they live and just see signs say gamble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to have a backup. Well, screening is a joke. I want for my second sitcom. Yeah, I figured it's like, a, it's, 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 Maybe you're not going to like it. Basically, uh, some way I, I said that the Jews might have been pissed off moving to America because they tip so much. Well, and then say, then I, I and then, you know, Bargo interrupts and says, you know, um, you know, you can't do that. So then I apologize and say, I'm sorry, Justin, if I offended your people, I'm sorry, Stephen. Really you say, well, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not but it does okay. How many cameras do we actually have in here? I have pink shoes. Okay. Okay. Just like you. No, no, no. Okay. Well, too bad. I have to guess. I love like this. On this side of the room, there's just seven people knowing each other. Nothing else. Yeah, we are aware of the irony. Well, I am. Okay. Well, for the first one, I should bring, I should talk about the very first thing is that we are in fact in a hotel, and you know it's during the day, and a lot of people are probably not around. You know the old people need their nips. So um, you know whenever we do yelling or something like that, it's like it's like you know if, if it's for filming, they will be like that, but never keep it up too loud because we might get noise complaints and stuff like that. So. So just be cautious of that. Like the level we had a few seconds ago, that's fine. First one to get a noise complaint gets tossed out the window. And gets to pay I have a chef's promise of that. <laughs> I have a license to kill. I've been granted. <laughs> so so there is that. And before I forget, everybody, thank you for coming. This thank is going to be really, really cool. cool. You're welcome, Doug. Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, that, uh, I'll go over what the uh, schedule is. Today, after you know, we're done having this meeting, is going to be just crossovers, you know, anyone who wants to do a crossover sketch with somebody else, or film something, you know, whatever, that's what today is mostly for. I'm going to be doing uh, storyboards probably for uh, an hour, two hours, something like that, but after that, I'll be totally free, so if you need me for any videos, I'll be available. Uh, tomorrow, the, there's one change in all in the schedule, that's a tough one, but luckily it's the first day, I'll probably be the hardest day, so we'll get out of the way, and that's um, that all the outside shots are going to have to be done in one day. And the reason for that is Ooh. that this is sort of in the mountains, uh, semi in the mountains, and the weather... Actually, it's in a death valley, but to get there, you yeah, have to go, you have to go through the mountains. So, <laughs> no. um, well. And, and be, because of that, the weather is unbelievably unpredictable. If you watch like the Weather Channel up here, like every other second, it's like, it's raining tomorrow, now it's just cloudy, now it's sunny, now it's cloudy, now I mean, it's all over the map, and the people there, um, this, this Kevin Ba guy, and, uh, they pretty much said that um, the weather is totally unpredictable. If they ever say there's going to be rain, it, it could be rain. If they said it's going to be sunny, it's usually okay. There are warnings on the straight expressways. They're just like, if these lights flash, you have to have snow tires or chains on your tires or you will die! If these lights are flashing, it's already too late. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's the reason we're going to do all the outside shots in one day. I'm going to map out what are the most important outside shots, you know, and get those done first. So some of it will be shot out of order. Um, and because of that, also, we're going to have to get up very early. We're going to leave at 7 a.m. Oh. So uh -huh. there is a, uh, and everyone should, if, if not uh, see me after this, uh, should have these uh, breakfast coupons that pretty much... Uh, a lot of you get this free breakfast. There's such a weird thing you have to do. You have to get like this card at the yeah, yeah, club card. And yeah, yeah. Actually, you manage to get to work. You get the club card. It's a free buffet. Yeah, pretty much. So you have to get this card. It doesn't cost anything unless you're under 18, uh, under uh, 21. So and then like it's me. Going with <laughs> so film brain screwed. Everybody play the loud. <laughs> If you have someone else who has a card, then you're fine. Oh, okay, then he's probably okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, look at the line. And it opens. Uh, yeah. The buffet opens at 6:30, so I give you about a half hour to get uh, 
uh, to get breakfast at 7 o'clock <laughs> we leave. So I, I advise getting up at like 6 to whatever, get a shower, get, get your stuff together, everything like that, go to the buffet, eat, and then meet in the front lobby. We have three uh, minivans that we're going to take uh, to load everything. Yes, Lewis? Uh, we should probably have a list of props we're going to need for tomorrow specifically. Yeah, um, actually pretty much because we're going to do all the outside shots. With, with the exception, I think, of the Sarah Palin outfit, um, bring all your props and any costume changes you have also. Uh, one, two. <coughs> what kind of sequence are we shooting? Chronologically, not chronologically. Out of. Uh, <laughs> for tomorrow, it's mostly going to be, out of, so we're going to do, um, we're definitely going to start with the action stuff first. So like I said, we're going to get all the hardest stuff out of the way uh, first, which is going to be the running and the charging and stuff like that. Um, I haven't mapped out yet exactly what order it's going to be. I, I, I want to finish the story for you first, and then I'll map out how it's going to go. But the least important outside shots we'll do um, last. And if it turns out we're running out of time, we'll just cross our fingers and hope that maybe the weather will be okay. The next day we can just, you know, film those other scenes. If not, we'll film it inside. We'll, we'll cooperate. Um, so the place is about an hour away. So, uh, so we leave at 7, get there at 8. Pretty much stay there until it gets dark, because that's all we're, we're pretty much going to do. And it gets dark around here, around uh, between like 7 and 7.30. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be 30. a long day. Uh, so breakfast is covered. On the days that we are shooting there, we are covering lunch as well. So uh, it probably, I think the only thing they have, I hope you like Quiznos or Taco Bell, because that's all they have. Because the closest one is like 10 miles away, and that's all there is for 100 miles. That's all yeah. you need. The, re the rest are gun shops. So, unless you want to eat Sweet. guns, which some of these are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, From uh, Texas. Don't plan on oh, that. Okay. So, we'll so right tomorrow right. is probably going to be the hardest it's and the nice. longest day. Uh, the next day we'll leave later. Uh, we'll leave around 8 o'clock uh, because the, the daylight's not as important. <laughs> and all the shots are going to be inside. Um, and that's going to be in chronological. 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 Yes. Wibbly wobbly tiny whiny stuff. Yes. Yes. So that's going to be in um, the correct order. Uh, the next day, Sunday, same thing. Leave at 8 o'clock. Uh, unless we're really behind, we might leave a little earlier, but it should be 8. Same thing. Stay until pretty much it gets dark. Uh, and then Monday is going to be all the hotel shots, all the shots that are done in the hotel room, um, which is... I don't think that should take the whole day. There's a lot of shots at that are supposed to be at nighttime, so we're gonna have to close the the windows and you know use some creative lighting and stuff. But for the most part, it should be relatively. Uh, I, I say probably half the day. I don't think it'll take all the day, but you never know. It's film. You all make films and stuff like that. You know that you know schedules just jump all over the place. Um, in terms of uh, weapons, who did not bring a weapon? I throw you efforts fail. You're all supposed to be the They don't exist in the Don't bring a sword. So one, again, keeping hands up. Okay, one, two, three. Shame, shame. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lindsay, did you get one? No, but I was. My hands are really doing things. So I was going to go to like a third or something. Okay, well, we'll see. I brought some. Uh, I brought a few really chintzy, lame weapons. You know, like I think one's a little gun that shoots little balls out of there or something like that. Really lame stuff. Like a nerf. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, I, I got like a, a nerf sword and a nerf, you know, stuff like that. Those so. are awesome. Well, yeah, they are awesome, but they're not real either. <laughs> I, I, brought, uh, I brought four, but I'm not sure what you need Dr. Insano to have. I brought a Sega Menacer, which looks like a. Kind of a video game rifle. I got two Nintendo Zappers, which look like pistols, and I brought like a squirt gun. <laughs> okay, um, okay. So, so you know what I brought. So go ahead, go ahead and bring all okay, of those. Yeah. You know, just be safe. I got some. I have like a big baseball bat. I have this little bow and arrow that's like a little plunger thing on the edge of it. So as long as it's sometimes, because we got some realistic, good-looking ones too. Like Joe brought some really good. One. I, I got the gun in there and stuff like that. You know, I have these little fakes so they actually don't look half bad either, so I mean, uh... I brought finger beans. <laughs> so just what, what, whatever you can... Um, if you can find something great, if not, we got bag of weapons. What about know? the uh, porcelain penis from Clockwork <laughs> Orange? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, so there's that. Um, Alright, so Lindsay, you're <laughs> going to get a wait for the Sarah Palin. Alright, uh, you don't need to bring that tomorrow because there's no outside shots. Uh, we <coughs> after. 
I, get, I, I can't apologize enough for what I did to your role, Tom. You're yeah, just a thing Tom. now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that, but I'm things are useful. Yes. It is true. So um, there's that, and I'm trying to think. Uh, the, yeah. These outside shots that we're filming tomorrow, is this supposed to be in continuity over one day? Like, yeah, yeah, well, that, that's the other thing I was going to be. The, um, the, the parts as they go, there's they're sort of three parts, and the idea is that the first part has maybe... You know, it's probably over two days, but if you wear the same outfits, it's okay. But pretty much, there's going to be two costumes mainly. There's going to be what you're going to wear on the first attack, which is like your normal getup. And then the second attack on, for the most part, with some exceptions, uh, if you dress up like a military, like Joe, I know you brought like a military hat, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. You're mostly going to be... You know, you're going to be in that costume basically from then on. I actually found that there's a uh, military surplus store about four miles away. You really only need to go up a road and then make a right somewhere. Oh, I got a um, scream over there. And I, I, I really want to get to that place actually myself. So if anyone wanted to... I don't know, join me in that adventure. Okay, that's great. Right. Right. If you want to get uh, helmets or military gear or whatever, go ahead. And pretty much from the second attack on, you're going to be wearing that, with the, with the exception of a few things. Like, Lindsay, you're going to be pretty much uh, wearing whatever you wear until you become the Sarah Palin, and then you're wearing the Sarah Palin. Uh, Spoonie, you're going to be wearing pretty much um, uh, just your normal outfit. I yeah. think you, you have to. You have... Uh, when you're the head of where science and technology, you just have a lab coat. And then when you become Dr. Insano, you have, you know, your th yeah, Dr. Right. Insano outfit. Uh, what about, like, my doctor's outfit? Yeah, that, that too. I, uh, as soon as the film strip parts, uh, the part with uh, Chris interviewing everyone, you'll find the doctor outfit, and you'll wear that from that on. Chris, you're useless in the first day. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, 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 the first I'm day... I'm the first and second. It's the third day. I'm just completely ineffectual. The, 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 the first day, actually, a lot of the stuff we're doing is done outside. Ah. So, so you're actually going to need to uh, be needed on both the first and the second day very, very much. So, so I'm going to like a master blaster. I think that's honestly that's about it right now. I'll, I'll just take any questions anybody uh, has right now. Does anyone have any questions about... Are you guys homo? Are you homo? Wow, that went really silent. I knew it! I got enough Okay, I'm going to be getting bottled water, a first aid kit, and I'm going to be getting food for everybody, so I'll have a clip. The first aid kit is only for Spoonie, so if anyone else needs any. Yeah, so if you need like oxygen, you feel the regular. Not in Duke. Huh? Um, dude, <laughs> special, special uh, rejuvenation. Jolt. <laughs> you have got the use of this guy's fridge. He said he's looking. Yeah, no, I, I would advise oh, okay. everyone because we were just out there and we we're shooting around a bit. Some tan uh, well, Yeah, that's not that's not bad. But mainly uh, water. I would go where to the store. Just yeah. get your own. I'm gonna get like big things. He, he, he's gonna bring some water as well, but bring backups. Anyway, because we were out there for just a few hours and our throats. We were out there for two hours. My head started to get sunburned. There was like not a single cloud in the sky, and we wow. literally were just. And it was cold. Like there was a cold wind, and Doug and I got in the car. And was like, I feel like I've been walking through the desert. Coffee. Will there be coffee? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
you know. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, be it, it just needs right. to be done. I, I just figured we'd have like an assembly line okay. thing going. Well, well, when when saying, so when we're lined up, you know, me and the M. Bison, we're all about to attack and stuff. He's going to take a picture of us. He's going to get prints, and we have to sign. What was it? Two hundred of them. Yeah. As you can see, photographs are currently being signed. Yeah, they're making us sign everyone's name. Yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> good photograph. <laughs> Very good photograph. <laughs> Just the uh, restrain from everyone signing about 200 copies. Tomorrow morning it's going to be like, tomorrow morning your wrist is going to be like, crack. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we got Sharpies and stuff like that, we'll just all sit down, we'll just sign them. Your hand will probably hurt, but, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. Well, on, on Friday we finish at, like, 7.30 and then we come back about an hour after, right? Yeah, but do you think anyone's going to be alive? No. Uh, Argo, it's I all the action set? Yeah, this is all the action set. Oh, yeah. Veto. Right, yeah. that's so, so, so that's probably, I, I would say we're probably going to do that the day of the, um, uh, that, that we're shooting the hotel, because that's most likely going to be half a day anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, this point, like the, a couple, couple of points. One, we're all pasty white people here. I think we can agree. Uh, uh, not Bargo, but <laughs> minus, minus Bargo. Um, suntan lotion, because if it was mm -hmm. like it was yesterday, there will not be a cloud in the sky and we'll be out there for hours. Um, water, as we said, just make sure to stay hydrated, because even if it feels cold out, it will be incredibly dry. Um, Margo, buy that, buy the suntan lotion along with everything else. Yeah, Actually, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, buy buy some all this stuff. Too. Uh, cheap ass shit. I want this stuff to be able to survive <laughs> like a nuclear blast. SPF 300. SPF 3000. Hey, buddy, not worried. SPF 1 million. I fry like a pork sausage, so do it. Um, okay. The other thing is, bring, prepare for hot weather and prepare for cold weather simultaneously. Because it's gonna get weird, so it's gonna get a little weird here. Because yeah, no, we we were out there and like when we were out there, it was warm, but then you'd get these insanely cold breezes whenever you were in the shade. So it and the temperature differential apparently is like 20 degrees sometimes. So just dress for <laughs> dress for the apocalypse. Success. Dress for the zombie apocalypse. Okay, and bring a shotgun. That's something that, I mean, a lot of you heard this at, you know, during the last uh, uh, filming of it, just for those who haven't. Uh, in terms of just how I work as a director, a lot of this, you're probably not going to get too many scenes where you're actually interacting with the other person, because everything literally just to where people are talking back and forth is storyboarded. It just makes things move a lot faster. But a lot of you are used to that, you're used to talking to someone who's not there, you know, or interacting and stuff like that. That sounds bad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, pretty much just... Uh, how, how it's going to work is that I'll probably say, like, say these three lines, I might say a line back or something like that, you know, say this line, okay, then we skip this, say this line, you know, on this one shot, okay. Um, and I'm one of those directors who, if you don't say a line the way I think I want you to say it, I'm one of those jackass people that says, no, say it like this, and I'll just say how to say it. Um, that's what I do, but if you're if you have this thought, no, I want to do it this way, my character wanna do it this way, I want to do it this other way. Second take. That, yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll do a second take because a lot of times I'm wrong, you know, and, and you guys can be right. So and on top of that, I'm also um, if anyone has any ideas, I'm very open. You know, I I'm open to uh, you know, any funny ideas or something that coincides with your character a lot better. Uh, just don't be offended if for some reason I don't go with it, or on a day like tomorrow, it's probably going to be tougher to go with those ideas because it's going to be such a rush, but uh, the other days we'll probably have a little bit more time to uh, go into that. We've got over 80 pages in five days. We are going to be cruising. If we ever going to hope to get through this, you're going to have to move. Yeah, I mean, we're, this is going to be like one shot to at the most stuff. There's going to be, what we're going to do, there's going to be two cameramen as well, because we're just going to fly through this as fast as possible. So a lot of the long shots at Doug are in that Doug is in. I will handle that. And then Doug's just going to grab the camera from me and be like, go, go, go! And just bark orders. It's going to be like boot camp. It's going to be like flying. So we'll be playing hot potato with the camera and just, you know, trying to get everything done as quickly as humanly possible. And again, and just, again, a lot of you probably know this, but when I say quiet, definitely be quiet. When I say, you know, go or action, it definitely means action. And the better, I'm sure not everybody has their lines memorized, but the better you can memorize your lines, the faster it will go. I'll be honest, I don't have my lines memorized either. You know, and if it turns out it gets to the point where we need the script right here for you to read off camera, we'll do that. <laughs> we just need to do it really, really quick, but also really, really well. So the best, the better you can memorize your lines, the better. Do you have a question? Yeah. Um, in regard to action sequences, 
how uh, so we can see it for everybody. Like clothing, like should we have stunt clothing that we don't mind getting fucked up? Or? Yes. Yeah, I, I would say do not wear it. The is rough. Yeah, there, there's a lot of, um, I don't even know, there, there's a lot of bushes out there. There's that, shrubbery, you know, sticks, rocks. Yeah, so really, nobody wears yeah. shorts. <laughs> Definitely. No, yeah, no, shorts, no shorts, like, shorts. shorts are vetoed instantly because you will get caught. Yeah, like just much. on the on the little plants That's and stuff. Like I mean, it's not, I'm making it sound way, way more dangerous than it is, but it's just be careful is just what you need to do. And, you know, it's the desert, so wear jeans or something that if it gets roughed up, you're just like, I don't care. Yeah, because so, your shoes will get dirty. I had to clean these off. They were just covered in dust. Yeah. What's the deal with the guy's house? Like, are we going to be able to like sit in this house, or are we going to be sitting? I, in the I would say there's going to be a heavy chunk of people that are going to be just, you know sitting around, right? Not, yeah, not there, there's going to be. Well, the outside shots. I mean, just about everyone is needed for them majority of the time. Um, but basically, if you can't, uh, if you're just not in a scene, or whatever, just find the place to just. Whatever, relax, play on a toy or something. There you will know, be I'm shade, sure. depending on where the sun. Yeah, is. I mean, it, it, it's you not. You can just go to any side not, of his little house and. It's never so nice. cold as freezing. It's never so hot that it, it's boiling. I mean, it's actually very pleasant weather. Yeah, it yeah, just dries you out, and you don't realize. Yeah, that. so um, so if you need to wait inside, that's fine. If you need to wait outside, that's fine. There's actually, I mean, the guy has this very nice. Uh, in the very nice yard or whatever, there were there's chairs set up and you can like uh, you can sit down and just relax and stuff like that. So yeah, if you need to go inside, that's fine. Uh, just obviously, if we're gonna shoot there, don't be there. You know, unless you're in the scene, obviously. Um, so and if it, yeah, and, and if, if worse comes to worse and just every place is like just wait in the van. I mean, there's there's places. Yeah, if if you know, at any point any of you guys are feeling like I don't feel well, something's up, this is bad, something's wrong. You let us know, and you sit it out, you know, I mean, be a team player. I mean, feel free to take one for the team, you gotta get through it, but if you're just like, something's seriously wrong, I'm really dehydrated, or I'm gonna pass out, or something. 40 minutes to the nearest hospital. Yeah, well, 40 minutes to the nearest hospital, but, yeah, you gotta, you gotta just sit down, get a bunch of water, don't, don't be a total martyr, okay? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's definitely something where you, you gotta be a oh, little tough, not super tough, but a little tough through this, you know, because this is sort of, you know, but if you feel really say totally bad, my health is in serious danger, you let us know ASAP. Yeah, definitely. So. I mean, to be tough, but not too tough. You know, if you I feel like you're going to die, you know, then yes, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, so, but don't let them know you're flying that way, Chewie. I don't know, act casual. <laughs> so, um, I, believe, I, place. I believe that's about it. Okay, so uh, just to recap, uh, just bring all your props and your costumes, basically, to my, except the, the panel, I don't think you have to bring that. Um, I, I, I don't think you need piece? the insane leader. Was I'll it? bring it anyway because you'd rather have it than not. Um, if you can fit it, great. You know, um, I I really don't think we're we're gonna need. I don't think we're gonna need the insane. If you want to bring it, that's fine. Uh, what about the patent attire? Should I have that? Yes. Okay. Definitely. And um, so so bring uh, bring your phony weapons, your stuff. If you can, <laughs> try to keep them so. hidden <laughs> as you're walking out because that will look very intimidating. Um, but so, yeah, so and we're gonna try and leave. Be at the um, <laughs> well, shh, 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 uh, be at the uh, front desk. Um, you know, if you can, five or ten minutes early so we can load everything. Um, okay, so but what, time, I, what time does everybody need to be at registration hearing? Uh, seven. Seven. So it's at 7 a.m. But you you got to be there absolutely. It cannot be late. So buffet opens at 6:30. Yeah. So that means you should be getting Take ready. Take advantage right. of the buffet. It's all yeah. So basically, saying. everybody should have their stuff ready to go for the buffet at 6:30. Be at the yeah. registration yeah. at seven. Yeah. So so again, seven o'clock. Be at the the front the registration. Um, yeah, we'll have the cars there, and we'll, we'll uh, pack everything we can, and. Um, I guess that's about it. Basically how it's going to work is all the really cool, awesome people are going to ride with me. Um, your average okay people, they get Bargo. Your so dorks, your hell. losers, your bedans, they ride with them. <laughs> I will murder you. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I am threatening someone here. And stay away from him. <laughs> no, no, I'm warning you because of him. Oh, it's, it's the puppet. The puppet tells me to do stuff, man. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, be yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, so be there at seven people. And it's events. And like I said, I uh, y'all y'all have my numbers then. Oh y'all have my number. Uh, if you need me today, go ahead and give me a call. I'm gonna be doing storyboards for about uh, two more hours roughly. I don't think it should be any longer than that. And then I'll be available. I have the bum outfit, the SA guy, the nostalgia critic outfit, if you, or just me, uh, whatever you need. Uh, no, good thing. Okay, the other thing is I wanted to confirm this. Um, I mean tomorrow we're all taking the safe live route there, um, but Pussies. some some people right. have uh, suggested they want to join me on the uh, trip through uh, Mordor, uh, oh, oh, oh. Mount Doom, and yeah, straight Mordor. through Middle Earth. Uh, pretty pretty much. So I was figuring we would do that maybe uh, the second morning and uh, for basically edge. split because Bargo will know the route by then and he can take the live safe route. You want well, to, you're just trying to get out of the water if you watch it. What's the deal? What's the interest? Am I, I going to have to do The interest twice? is that we might die and then <laughs> it's it. just really it's just sharp really sharp scenic through yeah. the yeah. yeah, it is very, it's very it's really cool. cool. It is beautiful. Like a thousand foot drop. With beauty comes danger. <laughs> uh, when are you taking that route? Uh, so the second, yes. and then not tomorrow, but the day after. Okay. So, yes. well, but Let me put you this way. I'll, I'll give first like gifts to those who already called it, and if I'm in the mood enough, I'll do it the second. Uh, I'm just laying people like. So, <laughs> you're people, not that's it. Just 7 o'clock, very, very important. Um, yeah. Yep, that's about it. If you got any questions, just let me know. Right, guys, so since I'm a French broad, uh, I never heard of uh, Pepsi Vanilla, oh, especially oh, oh, Diet Pepsi Vanilla. Oh, no, I don't want to oh, 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 It's bigger. It's way bigger, all right. And uh, I, we just did this scene where I have to smoke and stuff, and, and I just can't stand the smell. The smoking is bad for you guys. So, um, to pass off the flavor, I'm going to try is a Diet Pepsi Vanilla. I don't have a little bit of my face. It tastes like Vanilla Coke. <laughs> well, you know you have Coca-Cola vanilla, it tastes exactly the same except it's diet. There you go. The excitement is over. The excitement is over. I thought it would be better than... It's just, it doesn't reach the heady heights of me trying out mountain. It just tastes like what they say, I don't think, so what a let down, you know. It needs to taste strange.